Hi, so in this in this video I'm going to show you how I organise my tracks before I meet, uh, before I mix and, and that's because uh, you've got to be organised as, as you can see there's a lot of tracks and you've got to be able to know what's where and what's going on at what time. So the first thing I would usually do is these are how they've been um, labelled with the person who recorded the tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a listen and see what these are. So that's got a lot of snare in, but I, yeah, it's the kick that it wants. So I'm going to say that that's the main kick, layer one, layer two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build my track from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with a kick, snare, overheads, uh, floor, rack toms, floor toms, overheads, percussion, and bass guitar, and so on and so on. So, and then I'm going to color code them because that will help it see easily at a glance what it is that we're doing. So we've got kick, kick layer one, kick layer two, I'm going to say snare main, snare layer, snare a I'm going to say tom one, I'm going to say tom two, I'm going to say tom heavy, uh, I'm going to say floor tom, floor tom, then I'm going to say overhead, room, tambourine, crash. Okay, what I've got here is that's all my drums in my order. I've checked and there's no other drums in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to click on track one, press down shift to highlight all of them. Okay, and I'm going to right click, assign track color, and I'm going to choose red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these, right click, show hide colours, and again red. And the reason that I do that is so that at a glance I can see which tracks are track. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through all the rest of these and label them and sort them out. And uh, then we will come back and I'll show you what it looks like and what the next step is. So now you're back with me, you can see that I've colour coded everything. Um, so we've got drums, bass, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, lead guitars, and we've got all vocals here. And another thing that you can do if you want to, to make it easier to see things, you can go through, so if I <clears throat> select all of the drum ones, which is these, use shift and then that. If I right click here, I can choose what instruments they are. So let's say, uh, well, the drums, so I'm just going to choose a drum kit. So that'll change that all to drum kits. I choose that, right click, bass, mm, with that. Then a guitar, acoustic guitars, and there's a lot of them. I'm going to highlight those, right click, guitar, I'm going to choose an acoustic. Yeah. And again, shift, select, right click, guitar, we'll choose an electric. Then we've got all of these are vocals. I'm just going to put these there, like that. Okay, and then what you can do is you can even see what things are as well, much easier. Okay, so that's, that's the first point of organising your tracks.